in our previous lessons we have already discussed about latitudes and longitudes separately in details in this video we will try to make a comparison between these two imaginary lines firstly let us quickly revise what two latitudes mean primarily or basically latitudes are imaginary horizontal lines on the surface of the globe whereas longitudes are imaginary vertical lines on the surface of the globe now if you remember latitudes represent the angular distance of a point that is to say that if this angular distance is 30 degree and here we have a point b then the latitude passing through point v will be marked as 30 degree south because this point lies to the south of the equator and the angular distance is 30 degree so latitudes represent angular distance similarly let us imagine a point A lying to the north of the equator. Now we can see that the angular distance between CA and the equator is 30 degree. So if we have to draw a latitude passing through point A then this latitude will be marked as 30 degree north because this angular distance is 30 degree and this point lies to the north of the equator. So here we see that latitudes represent angular distance of a point lying to the north or south of the equator. Now what about the longitudes? Longitudes also represent angular distance but they are drawn either to the east or west of the prime meridian. Let us see how. Suppose there is a point P lying to the west of the prime meridian and the angular distance between CP and this line CN that touches the prime meridian is 30 degree. So a longitude passing through point P will be marked as 30 degree west. Now imagine this point that is Q lying to the east of the prime meridian and the angular distance between CN and CQ is 20 degree. So if we draw a longitude or a line passing through point Q then this longitude will be marked as 20 degree east. So here you see that the longitudes are angular distance of a point lying to the west or east of the prime meridian. So the longitudes also represent angular distance of a point to the east or west of the prime meridian. So here we see that both latitudes and longitudes are angular distances. In case of latitudes, the angular distance is measured with respect to a point lying to the north and south of the equator, whereas in case of longitudes, the angular distance is measured with respect to the prime meridian and the point must lie to the west or east of the prime meridian. The second point of difference between latitudes and longitude is that latitudes run in east-west direction. See in this picture the lines of latitudes are drawn and here we can see that the latitudes are drawn horizontally and they run from west to east. Longitudes on the other hand run in north-south direction. That is longitudes are vertical lines connecting North Pole and South Pole. Now study these two pictures carefully. In this picture the lines of latitudes are drawn and in this picture the lines of longitudes are drawn. In this picture you can see that the lines never meet that is 
an equal distance is maintained between two consecutive lines all throughout the globe whereas in case of longitudes we find that the distance between two consecutive longitudes differs the distance is greatest at the equator that is in the middle of the globe and the distance gradually decreases as we move towards the poles so this picture gives us the next point of difference between latitude and longitudes latitudes are parallel lines and they do not intersect that is these lines never meet or touch each other in other words we can also say that the latitudes are equi distant that is to say that an equal or same distance is maintained between two latitudes throughout the globe so this distance is equal to this distance is also equal to this distance hence we can say that the latitudes are parallel lines that is they never meet or intersect whereas longitudes are non parallel lines and they intersect at the poles see here at both the poles the longitudes are actually intersecting or touching each other and also the distance between two longitudes is never the same this distance that is the distance between two consecutive longitudes at the equator is the greatest whereas as we move towards the pole the distance gradually decreases and two lines of longitudes meet or touch each other at the poles so latitudes are non parallel lines whereas longitudes are parallel lines now before we proceed with our lesson let us try to answer this question which of the following statements is true latitudes are parallel lines longitudes are parallel lines latitudes run in north south direction longitudes run in east west direction what do you think yes the correct answer is latitudes are parallel lines only this statement is correct while rest of the statements are incorrect because longitudes are non parallel lines and they intersect latitudes do not run in north south direction latitudes are horizontal lines and they run in east west direction again longitudes are vertical lines and they do not run in east west direction rather longitudes run in north south direction now can you infer anything about the sizes of these imaginary lines from this picture well if we look at the first picture where the latitudes are drawn we can infer that the latitudes are of unequal lengths that is the size of this latitude is greater than the size of this latitude and this latitude that is a point shows the north pole and this north pole is also a latitude but unlike the other lines of latitudes this north pole is not a circle or a line but it is just a point similarly if we have to draw the south pole here then the south pole will also be just a point so here we can see that the size of latitude varies in fact equator which is present at the center of the globe is the greatest or the largest latitude and the poles are just point so the size of latitude is greatest at the equator and as one move towards the poles the size of each latitude decreases and this happens due to the spherical shape of the earth which we have already discussed earlier now coming to the longitudes from this picture we can very well understand that the longitudes are of equal lengths see this line of longitude is equal to the corresponding line 
which is equal to the next consecutive line of longitude similarly this longitude is also equal to this one so the size of each longitude is the same so here we come to another point of distinction between latitudes and longitudes latitudes are of unequal lengths whereas longitudes are of equal lengths now we already read that equator is a special latitude it is a latitude which divides the earth into northern and southern hemisphere in this globe this is the line of equator and here we can see that the equator splits or separates the earth into two equal hemispheres that is northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere now equator lies in the middle of the globe and we generally denote the equator as the zero degree latitude similarly a longitude that cuts or divides the earth into two equal hemispheres is the prime meridian so prime meridian is a special longitude that divides the earth into eastern and western hemispheres we generally denote the prime meridian as zero degree longitude so here we can point out another point of distinction between latitudes and longitudes equator is the latitude that separates the earth horizontally into northern and southern hemispheres whereas prime meridian is the longitude that divides the earth vertically into eastern and western hemispheres so these are the important point of distinctions or differences between latitudes and longitudes that we have just discussed about now you can pause the video and have a look at these differences so in this video we compared between the latitudes and longitudes and we understood various differences between them in our next video we shall learn about the importance of latitudes and longitudes we will start with the grid system don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus master each topic with our adaptive practice technology get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests get all your doubt resolved instantly learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads so at delta step learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too so register for free now